hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to show you a very first look to auto nlp from hugging face so i'm really very excited about it it's a fantastic project and it's going to help a lot of data scientists and machine learning engineers so what is auto nlp all about auto nlp is all about automatic way of training evaluating and deploying state-of-the-art natural language processing models so uh, we all have been using transformer models for a long time now, but we all know it's very difficult to fine tune. It's very difficult to select the transformer models based on your data set. And uh, it's also difficult to deploy. So all these things are combined in auto NLP. So you will be, uh, you just have to provide your data set and it's going to select the models for you. It's going to do fine tuning. It's going to do all the hyperparameter optimizations, and then it's going to deploy all the models uh, in a very scalable way. Um, so if you want to join the waiting list, just go on huggingface.co slash auto NLP and click on join waiting list. Uh, you can also do so by going to the Hugging Face website and then click on announcing auto NLP, and then you will come across this landing page. And then when you can click on join waiting list and then very soon you will be invited to use it so how it works it's uh, currently it's all command line uh, based so you have uh, you have a python package and you can you can also uh, use python if you want uh, so what you do is first you uh, upload the data but even before this you create a project so uh let's go here so you you log in using your hugging face api token then you create a project and you define a task so currently we have like uh, binary classification multi-class classification or entity recognition tasks uh, we have support for many different languages and we are constantly adding support for new languages and new tasks and then you upload the data so you upload the training data you upload the validation data and then you uh, do the training command so uh, af after that is done you just sit back enjoy relax enjoy your coffee or whatever and then come back after some time and then you can take a look at the progress of the project you can take take a look at different metrics so it's, it's very cool very awesome and today I'm, I'm going to show you how you can do this um, very easily so the first step for you would be to do auto NLP login. And before that, what you need to do is you need to install it. So what you can do is you can just write pip install auto NLP. So after it's released, you can do pip install auto NLP. So uh, the next step would be to log in. So today we are going to do it command line way, but you can also use Python if you want. So we can do auto NLP login minus minus api key and then you provide your hugging face api key which obviously for obvious reasons i'm not going to do in this video so i've already logged into auto nlp and now we can start creating a project so that's the first thing that you do so you do auto nlp create underscore project or you can just f first of all what you can do is auto nlp then it's going to give you okay um uh, this help message and uh, there are several commands that you can see here so the first thing we do is auto nlp create underscore project and you give the project a name so let's call it um, youtube one or this youtube and uh, you provide a language so this is the language that uh, your text data is in so my text data is in english language so i just write en and you can see the list of uh, different languages i think there are currently more than five different languages supported and we are adding new languages every day and then you supply the task so my task is binary classification so currently we have binary classification, multi-class classification, entity recognition, and we are adding new tasks like question and answering and summarization very soon. So um, when that's done, it's going to uh, show you some information. So 
it tells you, okay, so this is your project. It's in active phase. This is the name. I'm the owner. It's binary classification. It gives you date and time and the files. So nothing is uploaded yet and the models. So there is no file, there is no models, right? So now uh, we have to upload the data to the project. But before that, let's take a look at the data that we are going to be using today. So it's a very popular data set called IMDB sentiment classification. Everyone is using that. So let's just use that one. IMDB and I have already split the data set into two files. One is training and one is valid. So this is the training set. So as you can see, you have um, two different columns, review and sentiment. And this is a large text. And then you have the sentiment, which is a string positive or negative. So when, when we um, have to uh, create a model on our own, we will be converting the positive and negative strings to one and zero, but we don't have to do that with care about that with auto NLP. It's going to take care of it on its own. And similarly, we have uh, IMDB underscore orig underscore valid, and it has the same two columns and um, uh, it's it has 10,000 samples. So the, the training data set has 40,000 around 40,000 samples and this one has 10,000. So let me just clear it. And then we upload the data. So for uploading the command is auto NLP upload. And then you specify which project you will be uploading the data to. So here my project is YouTube. And uh, then you specify the split. So minus minus split. So this is my training split here. And you have to specify a column mapping. So uh, since my project is binary classification, my, I have two different columns. One is text, one is target, and that's how auto NLP understands your data. So uh, here we have to use minus minus call underscore mapping. So this is just a mapping from original column to auto NLP columns. So here you can write review and that is text and sentiment and that is target so this is your review is your original column in your data set and sentiment is your original column in the data set and the auto nlp columns are text and target so that's how auto nlp reads your data and then you specify files so you can have multiple files here if you want but in this case we have only one training file so if you have multiple files then all these files will be joined together so uh, data sets slash imdb underscore orage underscore train dot csv okay um and then it starts to upload your data set. So it will show you the progress. It will tell you, okay, now I'm uploading the data set. And then in the end, it's going to tell you, okay, I've successfully uploaded the data set uh, in, in the project. Successfully uploaded one file to auto NLP. And it tells you, okay, I'm adding, uploading this data set to this project. So now we have already uploaded the uh, training data. And now we have to upload the validation set too. So to upload the validation set, let's clear this first. And we will use the same command. Instead of train, we will do valid. And so remember to change it everywhere. My column mapping for validation is the same. So I don't need to change that. My project remains the same. Auto NLP upload, split valid, column mapping review to text, sentiment to target. So all you have to remember is call in column mapping here. Uh, the, you have to separate this by colon and then you have to separate this by comma. And we have started uploading the validation data and it's done. So we have uploaded the validation data. We have uploaded the training data. Uh, now what, what you want to do now? So let's take a look at the project. So auto NLP uh, project info and name of my project was YouTube. So let's say what it says about the project. So it says, okay, uh, your project is in active status and now you can see the file. So uh, you have the training split, you have the validation split and it tells you that no, 
jobs have started which is correct uh, we don't have any jobs yet so let's start some jobs so auto nlp train project youtube and boom we are good to go it tells you uh training started so now you can go sit back relax and come after some time um to see the status of your training so what we can do in the meantime is we can run the project info command again and see what what what's happening there so okay so now wow it tells me it has a lot of uh, new things in the model and it tells me i have a bunch of models and these are queued so i will come back in some time and see if the status changes so i thought it was a good opportunity to eat some food so i went and grabbed a sandwich and uh, i spent like 45 minutes so now we can check the project status again and see what's happening there so previously uh, my models were pending so now i see some models are in are still in training uh, some have succeeded so that's very nice and some are still still queued so to my surprise a few people were also using uh, auto nlp simultaneously um which is nice so now uh, what we can do is try another command called auto nlp metrics and then provide model so here uh, let me remove this again and l let's check the project status again this so this is the model id so you have model 400 399 398 so let's see metrics for model 400 so if you if you do auto nlp metrics then model id then it gives you um logs so this is a training log you can see the loss is going down 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 and this is the validation log and it seems like second epoch was the best one similarly you can also check model 399 and uh yeah this one looks like the first epoch was better and this seems a better model than the previous one so now we can do the prediction command and we can see uh, how to predict from uh, this model. So let's clear this first. And then for predicting, we have the command auto NLP predict. And then you specify the model. So let's say model 400 and sentence. I love auto NLP. Okay, so we okay we have to provide model id instead of model <laughs> okay so I'm, i've been making a mistake two hyphens okay so it gives me a positive and negative score so as you can see uh, my label names are the same from the original data set and that's how we want uh, to have it and uh, we have um, a negative score and uh, a positive score so this is this is it this is all about auto nlp the model is going to be stored in your hugging face account so you can uh, use it uh, like you use other models in the hub um, and or you can do whatever you want to do with it and uh, the data is also kept private in uh, your own private repository so you're allowed to delete it whenever you want so we just use the data for training the models so similarly we also have other models so let's just check uh, prediction of one more model so this is 399 and uh, this is 0 0.988 and this was 0 0.985 so yeah so far so good and uh, i still have uh, many models training i believe and just do the auto nlp project info and name was youtube so it seems like still uh yeah some models are still training so they will also finish soon it's a nice day outside so i'm just going to uh, go out in the sun and when I come back, 
everything will be done. So uh, I'm, I've been, tr- I'll, I'll be training a bunch of models on a given data set and uh, it's going to give me a leaderboard in the end, which are the best models. And uh, then I can use it in production. It's simple as that. So if you, if you still haven't registered on the website, just go and click on join wait, waiting list, huggingface.co slash autoNLP. And it, it also comes with a Python package. So it's a Python C- based CLI. So you can also use the Python API if you want which is very simple and easy and just like how we do it in command line. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did share with your friends, register for the beta. It's coming really, very soon. And I hope you like it. Bye.